Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to Him forever. Jesus praying to the Father says they don't belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. They are in the world, but I am no longer in the world. They don't belong to the world, and the world doesn't belong to them. Jesus, in this prayer, is speaking in a way of a, a will, a testament of what he's going to leave behind. So often we look around us and ask, what will we leave behind? for our children. What will our children be able to say came from father, mother, grandparents perhaps? What will the world of 30 years from now be able to celebrate as having been given by us as a church, as a as a country, we hear sometimes that we are, what we pass on to our children, our, the next generation, is what we really have. We know that we don't take anything to the grave except what we give away. We've given away. We take to the grave and we take to heaven. The fathers of the church gave us much, gave us a, a church and a faith, an understanding of the faith. Only God can give us a faith, of course. And we cherish that. We celebrate it a couple times a year. But we know that what they've given us was ours already. And what we shall leave in our will and testament belonged to the next generation already. For we don't belong to the world and the world really doesn't belong to us. We are here as stewards. We're the people who continue the world from the previous generations to the next. We're just that bridge. And if we think we can live on a bridge, no, we can't. We need to put our feet firmly on both sides of that bridge. The bridge must, in fact, be anchored well if we are to have stability. Jesus Christ is the still point of a changing world. Our world is constantly changing, we know that. But Jesus Christ, as the first reading said, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today. He's the same yesterday and today. He's the same in every moment of history. He doesn't change. Because he's the same forever. His, on both sides of that bridge, we are the ones who continue the history of the past into not just the future, but into eternity, the other side of the bridge. And how easy it is to get carried 
carried away by strange teaching, as the first reading told us. To go off the side of the bridge,
Then we look around the congregation who all claim to be in the same denomination and say, gee, you know, we're really not that one ourselves. Husbands and wives look at each other and say, would that we be one? What a wonderful, important thing it is for us to realize that the church, the world, God's mission will continue even, even in our division. And yes, our goal as the goal of the Congress is to come together, to join together and be in one direction with one purpose. Theirs is the one purpose of the country. Ours is the one purpose of perpetuating the salvation of the world. Here we have no lasting city, but we do have a lasting city, and that is heaven. We pray that we will be faithful to our calling as the fathers of the church were faithful to theirs. Glory.